Willie DeMeo is a man of his word. A lot of people say a lot of things to me, especially because I'm famous. I'm big. And uh, he said, he said, I'm going to put you in the show. And he put me in the show. And I'm in five of these nine episodes. Willie is the writer, creator, director, the star. He's a brilliant, talented young kid. His son, Christian, very handsome, by the way. He's got a big role in this show. And the sexiest man alive today by far. I don't want to hear about myself. This guy's got me beat by a mile. Peter Gordio. And uh, he's also got a, 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 a great role uh, in Rocco. Right, there you go. In this show, so we got Benny, we got Rocco, Chris, what's your name again? Sammy. Sammy, the stars of Gravesend. Tonight's the red carpet premiere. The question, though, Willie, is are we going to see this on Amazon Prime tomorrow, Monday? Do we know yet? Uh, there's a very good chance. It's, the way it works with Amazon Prime is it can change last minute. That's why we haven't said the exact date, but it, it it's probably going to go live Friday. As what we, tomorrow. The 30th. That's what's... Yeah, we've been making it safe by saying July, but it, it there's a very good chance it, it'll come wow. out on the 30th. Well, let me uh, first of all congratulate you because uh, there's a lot of talent on this show, a lot of guys in this room, tremendous amount of talent that you were able to bring to this show, Chaz Palminteri and Vinny and, and Armand and Gina and Fran and Paul, and the list goes on and on, but above and beyond that, uh, you write all this stuff, uh, you star on the show, obviously. You're a Brooklyn kid who made it big, so you have to be feeling great today. Season two, red carpet premiere. You're the man behind all of this. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And you're a Brooklyn guy that made it big yourself, <laughs> but <laughs> thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, I I'm beyond grateful. I mean, to live my dream come true, and 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 this show is for all of us. Um, you know, from Brooklyn, all of us, everyone that experienced and grew up a certain way. I feel like it's it's a pat on the back for all of us and for neighborhoods like, you know, Morris Park and the Bronx and, and Howard Beach and neighborhoods that had a similar uh, upbringing. Yeah, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm very proud that we can show what the real Brooklyn was like yeah. more I, than I, anything. I, I got a neighbor. His name is Joe Ferrante. Uh, Maria is his wife. Beautiful family with two kids. He grew up in Canarsie. Uh, the Carone brothers, Frank and Anthony Carone, they work with the mayor and uh, even Curtis Sliwa. And he's like, man, Sid... I love you and that show and that show because people wouldn't believe how it was when we were kids. Like, it's so different today. I go back to a neighborhood. We filmed that last scene at your, you know, by your parents. And uh, it's still somewhat like it used to be. But so much of Brooklyn has changed, Willie. No. It's not even not even uh, recognizable. I know. And that that's what was the challenge for us because we had to bring it back. I can't stand these new air conditioners that people put outside the house. I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to rip every one of them down. Oh, that's Oh, oh my God, right. all these air conditioners all of a sudden hanging on the outside. I'm like, oh, my God, please, guys. Well, that reminds me of the last scene we shot. So my wife and son come. They'll be there tonight. They're yelling, Gabe. And they don't know what's going on. They're watching. We start the scene with me and Willie walking alone and eventually meet up with all the guys, all the fat mobsters, you know, Tommy and Chris and everybody. Not that Chris is fat. And um, so Danielle's sitting there. She's taking pictures with her iPhone. And Willie stops. He goes, no, 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 no. And she's like, what? What did I do? There's no cell phones. This is 1985. Yeah, exactly. So you want to make sure throughout the whole taping that yes. people may, you know, stay true to the actual piece of the piece. Exactly. Exactly. Well, well, you know, but we had the best locations, and I have to give shout outs to some people. Like, for instance, like all my friends at the garage who oh, Anthony's oh, the best. What shooting yeah. there, Anthony and, and Louie. And um, the the suit that I'm wearing tonight came from them. I get so much support. Spamoni Gardens has given us um, the, the, the two free tickets. Um, they gave meals for us, for, for people that are one on 103.5. Hollywood Hamilton has really, yeah, really pushed this guy. show yeah. all over KTU. Um, and Panino Rustic, oh, my friend Louie, uh, all these guys. And, and I cannot forget Michael Sullivan, your buddy, Michael yeah. Sullivan. Brennan and Carr, he is a gentleman. He's and, coming tonight. He's coming, yeah. yeah. And I, I love yeah. you, Mike. You're the best, bro. Just uh, want you to know yeah. it does not go... Um, you are, you are a great guy, bro. Thank he you loves for you. your support. He was at my son's basketball game last night. Don't forget, he's a guy that really uh, was with all the Sopranos. Jimmy loved him. Tony Sirico was with Michael every day for 15 years. Now he's with Steven Van Zandt every day. All those guys that you, of course, worked with and love. That's Sullivan's uh, job and has been for a long time. Chris, uh, this is your father doing all this stuff. You've got a big role coming up. Uh, I know when the promos, I see you with a gun. You look pretty good with a gun. Uh, what do you think about this uh, new season and what your father's been able to do? I got to tell you, Sid, I am so, so, so excited because it, it's been a process, you know, and people don't understand, you know, this is, this show was done independently and, you know, 
CAA with, you know, they're, they're the agency backing us. And just to hear what they've spoken about the show and all the support that we've gotten, it's truly been something surreal. And to, you know, be on set with just great actors like yourself and Peter and my father and Chaz Palminteri, William Force, like all these great actors that came to play, it, it was just it's just been amazing. Yeah. And, and I just wanted to say thank you to all the crew members, everyone that got behind the project. Thank you all. We wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. I'm a very handsome kid. I got to tell you, I, I, mean, I guess I met you like three years ago. You're getting older. You're getting to <laughs> like a Hollywood movie star. Uh, Peter, you've done a lot of stuff. You know, you were in a Bronx tale and with Willie, by the way, and uh, you've been around this Hollywood scene for a long time. You and I have a lot of private conversations. We've become very, very, very close. I love you like a brother. And you admit uh, all the time how excited you are about this specific show and where the show can be, not just for season two, but who knows, five years down the road. Absolutely, Sid. You know, and I'm honored to be here sitting with each and every one of you here. Thank you. And it means a lot to me because we didn't have a premiere for the season one because of COVID. So now with the with what we're going to have tonight that no one is going to ever see before, and no one knows what this gentleman has been through and so what Chris has been through, you know, they shot 92 days straight. The production is that Which, right? Transport right. transporting cars from Brooklyn to Miami, from Miami back to Brooklyn, getting there at six thirty in the morning, and the last one to leave, and writing and dealing with all different kind of personalities. It's a lot of work. What everyone has to go through, and you just have to respect it, and you have to honor it, and you just have to, like he said before, pat each and every one of us on the back. And you've been around a collection of great actors, Bronx Tale, these other uh, shows you've done, but I think you'd have to admit that season two of Gravesend. You'll be hard pressed to find a collection of better actors. Oh, it's going to be great, Sid. Yeah, it really is going to be yeah. great, and we're all looking forward to it. Just where we can put it out there, and everybody get a yeah, chance get to excited. see how hard that we do work. Yes, and you know, you mentioned COVID, Willie, and I remember the first day I arrived in Miami, and I walked over to Dice, and I had known Dice just a little. He he forgot, but he was on the radio show a couple of times, and I walked over and went to shake his hand, and he completely turned his back on me, and I go to Chris and I go, "What a dick." I'm like, wow, I heard he was a dick. He really is. And then he actually apologized. He didn't hear me, but he apologized. Later he goes, you know, the, the COVID thing, the COVID thing, the COVID thing. People are wearing masks. And, and by the way, the rest of the day and all weekend long, he was great to me. He became like a real mentor. I love Dice. But you had to do all that. I mean, I flew to Miami that day. I had to wear a mask in the airport, a mask on the plane. How brutal was all that? It was crazy, especially when the union came down and, and was like, everyone has to have masks on set. And it, it, it was it was tough. And let me tell you something about Dice. Dice is, you know, some people don't understand how. Dice is an amazing talent. He is. Dice is a very underrated actor. Agreed. Let me tell you. Although he almost did win an Academy Award for A Star Is Born. He, he yes. And I got to tell you, I became very close with Dice, another Brooklynite from Sheepshead Bay. Nostrand Avenue and Avenue R. Andrew Silverstein. I know they're building very well down the block from Buckley's. Go ahead. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, D Dice shines in this show. He, he did an amazing yeah. job. And everyone, Armand Asante, Chaz Palminteri, Sophia Milos, Chris Mamando, Leo Rossi, Bo Deedle. We could keep going. Vic D. Botetto, Big Time Tommy. We got all these great people, and right. and, and it's and it's and Chuck and, Zito did a very Chuck good job. Zito, Fran Drescher, yep. Yep. Fran Drescher, Gino Gershon, Oof. Chuck Zito's the man, bro. What better thing is you're gonna get to see Chuck Zito beat up a bunch of people, yeah. bro? Yeah, like you know, this is you know we we know what he's done. In real you know, life. In real same life. Thing. It's the same now thing. on the screen, <laughs> yeah. you're going to see Chuck Zito yeah. go to yeah. town on people. The other thing which you have to deal with, I love Chuck. You know, right now, uh, all three of you know this Chris, Peter, and William, the writers are on strike in Hollywood. By the way, what's your uncle's name? Uncle Billy. Hi, Uncle Hi. Billy. Nice to see you, buddy. Good to see you. So the writers are on strike, so no one's really doing anything. So we're, we're, in a, we're in a gain here because you take all the work on yourself, Willie. But I know, not just COVID, they come down, they go, listen, need more gays on the set, need more black people on the set, need more this on the set. I talk to writers, directors, and producers all the time. Danny goes through the same thing. They do make life a little difficult for you because you may have a certain man or woman in mind for that role, and sometimes they give you a hard time about that, don't they? Yeah, well, the thing is, that's kind of how the networks are doing things these days. And, and and we have no problem with any of those, anybody working with anyone. The, the thing is, is that I'd, I'd like to be able to pick the right person for the right. job. Right. And and we do have we, we do have diverse casting. We have Mario Cantone, who is amazing, by the I way. I actually got heard I a love rumor that. We did a great job. I heard Mario. that you and Mario are going to be on Rosanna Scotto together. Yes, we are. Yeah. Mario yeah, I, is gay. Yes. But very gay. 
I don't know about very gay. Very but, gay. Okay. Extremely gay. You're measuring it now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, but let me tell you, yeah. you, the character he plays, yeah. I, I just want people to be surprised the, what, the, the character he plays. Is he in gay he, in the show like Joe Ganescoli? Yeah, but he's not a wise guy. He's not a wise guy. Yeah, I don't want to give away what happens. I don't with him. give away. Yeah, okay. yeah but yeah. he's he. We don't. Yeah. We didn't pull that stuff. Okay. Like I'm not gonna make so a gay so guy a gay. Chris, I'm not gonna do that on my show. Do you kill him, Chris? Because <laughs> 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 no, I did see you have a gun. So I mean, uh, without yeah. giving it away, do you shoot uh, some? Uh, yeah. Well, you'll see all the action. There's a lot of action this season. Um, yeah. I play Leo Rossi's nephew in the show. Oh, and cool. there's a lot of turmoil there. You know, it, I th I think people are gonna be really on their toes every episode i think it just builds and builds and builds yeah you know and uh that like my father has said in other interviews and stuff like that you won't know what happened like there are different storylines that are completed at the end like you that. don't know what you happens. tie it together right yeah. that's awesome and i think the day i shot at the garage that was a great scene me you and vic the Pateto, you were there with chris right. and you both had guns that's all I know. Right. Real guns with real bullets, like Alabama. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think your character Rocco gets involved in some uh, serious stuff. Yeah, huh? my character Rocco is pretty um, yeah. pretty intense. You know what the funny thing is about Peter? You're not going to meet a tougher looking guy. This guy is like he's got the biggest heart. He's a marshmallow. My kid shows up, he starts to cry. I mean, that's but I, you've never seen a guy look tougher. So you really are a great actor. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about Peter too. Peter, Peter is so conditioned, and the way he, his mindset is, he 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 always he always eats the right way. Yeah. He works out like an animal. He's Ever since the first, I know this guy. We want to talk about being emotional. We started in a Bronx tale. The other day, I was at Chas Palminteri's, the Tribeca Film Festival had the reunion. For 30 years. 30 years. 30 wow. years. Yeah. And last night, Chaz Palminteri launched a cigar, Bronx Tale Cigar on Arthur Avenue, and it was great. Man. Awesome. So and, ab about uh, 60 seconds ago, we got a wrap. I've got uh, Jason Goldman on the phone. He's the attorney for Jordan Williams. Um, and you guys are both great, Chris and Peter and Uncle Billy. I love you, too. Uh, tell everybody out there, William, uh, why, above and beyond, we already discussed here this morning, why Gravesend Series 2, like you and I talk about, is going to make history. Because I, there's nothing like it right now. Um, humbly speaking, you know, I think people want to start seeing stuff that those real old school stories that we used to see, they're they're gone. And this is yeah. this is listen. The Sopranos was amazing and had an amazing run. It was a, the, the one of the and I'm honored to be part of that show. Um, I think that there's been a void of that organized crime type of shows that people love, and and it's it's not just. And I also want to emphasize that uh, some people say you know your the neighborhood wasn't just wise guys which it wasn't and i'm not trying to show that and i'm not glorifying these guys or anything about it i'm showing a time and the way it was in clubs like pastels and the way it was cruising in a car how all those great cars and we have the best music guys our soundtrack just wait till you, our soundtrack is i don't want to even say unbelievable the music Every episode has hit songs, at least three or four hit songs in every single episode. That's awesome. So, folks, uh, make sure you check it out. Well, I'll give you more details when I know. Could be tomorrow. Could be Monday. Gravesend Season 2. We're going to party like rock stars tonight. The red carpet premiere. All these tremendous actors and Willie and a whole bunch more on Long Island later on tonight. Congratulations, Christian DeMeo. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Congratulations, Peter Gordio. Thank you. And much love and congratulations to you, William. You're a genius. You really are. And uh, this is going to be a shining moment, but many more to come. So thank I, you for coming. I appreciate in. that. And you're the best. And you're thank all you. hot, bro. I love thank you, you, bro. I love you, too. You, too, Uncle Billy. We'll uh, take a short <laughs> break, come back, and talk to Jason Goldman about Jordan Williams right after this. That was great.